This is the basically the interface of the lit maps and after signing up and signing in you will see this. I always suggest creating a different workspace. To do that let's click here. As you see by default this uh, you will have one workspace. If you are working on multiple projects you can create a different workspace for that so you can organize your search results in that very workspace. So to test it let's create one new workspace I call it. As you can see now this is the uh, selected one you can also see the name of it here the new workspace and you can also navigate among them but i will keep I, I will select the new workspace and after doing that let's go to your library part as i clicked here then create a collection creating collection is a nice feature because you can organize your papers i really like that so i call it new collection and done we created our first collection there is no article here you can import your uh, articles with bib text file for example if you are using zotero which i use or any other citation management program you can export the list of your sources and then you can import that list here but this time i am assuming that we are doing the the research from start and then i go and search for articles let's click here so you see this is the search bar and i type uh, let's say just simply impact of um, climate change i really like this question to test it because it gives uh, nice results but you can also test it with your own question and with your own keywords the impact of climate change on human mobility i just want to show you how you can visualize your uh, papers so i'm going to select all of them by clicking on this button here uh, this button and so 20 of the articles were selected now i click on continue as you can see now they are added to my collection now i have 20 selected article 20 articles in my um, collection so I can use one of them as my seed article so i will briefly explain what that means so you can select one article as your seed and then let the lead maps to find more articles based on that articles for that i'm going to use the articles with more citations in order to do that i'm going to click on citations here and the recent and future climate change on vector borne diseases so it has 334 this is a good one to be a seed article and i'm going to select that one and when you select that one you can see the name of the authors you can see this doi number digital object identifier number and abstract of course you can read it you can again uh, in order to be sure that this is the article that you can use your as seed article before continuing our tutorial i want to inform you about our webinar which we conducted together with professor leonard nake now it is available the recording of this webinar is available for everyone you can check the link in the description you can check the website where we covered different strategies tactics and methods how we can leverage the power of AI tools for academic processes and we also covered with clear use cases different AI tools there please check the link in the description so after deciding that you can click this uh, seed map button here and when we do that as you can see litmaps created a map for us this is like this links between the articles on the left hand left hand side you will see so our seed article is here on the left hand side the article written before our selected article so our selected article uh, is citing them and the articles in the right hand side are the article that is citing that is referring to our seed article so basically this is the article we selected so if you click on it then you will see it again so this is a nice map i really do like seeing the connection the interrelations between the articles i have the internal relations let's say between the articles it's a nice way to see to see that because sometimes maybe you after reading multiple the number of articles you really lose the track of the articles which article size which one or in order to find more articles connected to your article then this feature is very nice because when you click on uh, you hover over for example let's say of this article here you see the name if you click on it you can see the details the references the cited by the number of the citations and also you read the abstract and you can also if you click this source button you can also directly navigate to the original source so that's basically creating a seed map and Apart from that, you can also do this. Uh, you can also find more articles related to your search. So for that, let's click on this button here, discover 20 more related articles. And here I continue. As you can see, it found more articles related to my previous search. In order to define whether we need to add these articles to our collection as well, then you can click on the articles. You can read the abstract. I usually like to read the abstract to define whether I need to add this article to my collection. Then if you decide that yes i want this to add to my collection then click on this add search button as you see now it says add it to my collection and i close this and then i click finish found one so that's basically lit maps you can use it for your research and sometimes it's nice to visualize also you can use it to find new papers you can add your collection and you can export it again you can uh, import this exported list of articles to your citation management system or program thank you for your attention if you like this video Please hit like button, thank you in advance for that, and if you want to see more videos from my channel, please consider subscribing, hit that subscribe button over there as well. In this short tutorial, I will explain how you can use SciSpace Literature Review Tool. 
At the same time, you can also include the library part of the size space, as well as how you can use AI Copilot to ask questions on PDFs. So let's try this question here, which I already uh, typed in. How does climate change impact biodiversity? First, size space gives us insights from top five papers. It could be a nice start for uh, students, for researchers, if you are in the beginning of your research. On this column, size space shows us the names of the papers. And if it, is, uh, it, if it has PDF, you will see this PDF. And here you will see also bookmark. What does bookmark mean? Here in the library, if you created a folder, which is in my case, it's Google Research, I created for today's demonstration. And then you can, uh, if you go to the, to the literature search part, you can click on this. For example, let us do the, this one uh, for this climate change and its impact on biodiversity and human welfare. So if I click this bookmark button here and you will show this uh, window, small window, and you can select the collection here. And when I select the Google Research, it is automatically added. And if I go to the library, to my own library, you will see this under this folder, you will see the, se the second article already added to my collection. Here you can also sort them. Newest first, date, opened, oldest first, and alphabetical order from A to Z or the vice versa. And let us say A to Z, and you can see the C comes first and I comes later. So this is a very nice feature to keep your all articles in one folder, or maybe many folders, or maybe you can create different folders for the different sections of your dissertation or of your academic paper. Anything else, you can keep your articles separately. So you don't know, you don't want to uh, mix them. And another important feature, which I want today again show you, is the AI Copilot. Basically, before AI Copilot, maybe I can also talk about a bit these columns here. As you can see, you, uh, there will be, when you search, uh, SciSpace automatically gives you uh, columns. Originally, only this column here, Insights, but I, add, I added this one here. If you want to add more columns, as you can see, the methods used, this one is added here. I added this one from here. If you want to add, for example, the contributions or summarize the results or anything, TLDR that's too long, didn't read. So let's add that one. And as you can see here, automatically added this one. And mostly, uh, I watched a couple of videos and I also uh, contacted them. As far as I know, the information reflected here on are taken is taken from from the abstract part mostly so therefore i i don't use this feature uh, a lot but what feature i can suggest using is ai copilot for example uh, maybe you can read the abstract you can read the uh, introduction and conclusion part but if you want to go a bit further to ask uh, further questions then you can use this ask copilot button here if you click on this you can ask questions specifically about this paper as you can see the name of the paper that exact this paper is also here it means you are asking questions about this i would definitely suggest using this copilot instead of using these columns here because uh, to me the information given on these columns look very similar to each other therefore maybe the copilot at least in my case copilot uh, functions better a couple of words about the plans uh, with, if you, when you create an account on SciSpace, you, ba you basically join this basic plan, uh, as, the, as the name suggests. With the basic plan, you will have limited copilot messages, also the literature review searches will be limited. But if you want uh, to join the pro plan, uh, the premium plan, you can do that monthly or yearly. If you do that monthly, it will be 20. But if, if, if you want to go annual plan, it will be 12, uh, but 12 per month, but you, you pay annually. But I have also discount codes, uh, which SciSpace gave me. Uh, you can find them in the description as well, but on the screen as well. So if you use Vugar 20, you will get 20% discount on monthly plan. And if you use Vugar 40, you will get 40% discount on annual plan. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. Please also like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your attention. To start using it, visit site.ai. The link will be in the description or in the comment. Please check that. With site, you will have access, as you can see here, to 1.2 billion citation statements extracted and analyzed from 187 million articles, book chapters, etc. It's quite extensive sources. To use it, create an account on site. Uh, to create an account, click on this blue sign up button here. If you already have an account, click on the sign in button. So I click, since I have already have an account, I'm clicking on sign in button. As you see, I signed into my account and it's pretty straightforward after signing in to use site. Click on this search bar and type your request. I'm typing my own request, European Union migration laws. It's a very broad request. You can type your own question or request and more specific request it can be. So click enter. In a couple of seconds, site delivers the sources. Here you can see. 
And I want to talk about one unique feature of Cite, which is uh, specific only to this AI tool. And that is smart citations. What smart citations means? Under each source, you will see this bar here. It, it will include uh, numbers, the figures in it. The first one will show you number of publications citing this work. Second one will show you number of supporting, supporting articles uh, for, for this article. And the third one is about how many other verbs generally mentioning this work. And the last one, it is zero here, how many contrastic citation statements about this work. This is very pretty handy feature. For example, if you like this source, you can also find another supporting supporting source by clicking on, 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 on this. Another second feature I want to talk about you is assistant, site assistant. To access it, simply click on this assistant button here. Then you will end up in this page. Here you will see pre-drafted questions. You can select one of them if you like, but you can also type your own specific question request. Here to test it, I'm going to write European Union migration laws. Click enter. Here what site does, it will draft a very brief paragraph about my request. And the best part of it, it will also include the sources that it is going to use to draft this paragraph. It's a very handy feature because if you don't know where to start, you just type your ideas, your question there, and site drafts a paragraph for you. You can check this paragraph and you can read it. You can have some basic initial ideas. And here also you will see the sources in the brackets. If you hover over these source, these brackets, you will see the sources and you can also start reading them. I think this is a very handy feature as well to start doing a literature review or generally writing. So I think that's it for now. I hope uh, this video will be helpful for you. Please let me know if you find this tool useful. Have you ever used it? Please, please let me know in the comments, comment section. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in my next videos. Sourcely is a simple and AI powered app by which you can find papers, academic papers for your projects. Whether you are a student, writing an assignment or essay or researcher of any kind trying to find sources for your project you can use Sourcely. So I have access to the pro version of the Sourcely and I'm going to test it with how it works. So let's dive in. Go to Sourcely Pro here and as you can see you will see this interface very simple and as you can see since I have pro account I have unlimited words remaining. With the free version I think it's around 300 words but even with 300 words you can use it. You can do uh, you can find credible sources I believe. But I'm going to test it with the pro version now. You can, as source the claims, you can even paste your whole essay. Or if you don't want to do that, you can do your search with a couple of keywords. So I'm going to copy paste a small part from my own paper and let us see how many and uh, how good papers source can find for me. So this is, I know I copy pasted from PDF, that's why it's a bit like this. And let's say find sources. As you can see, this is going on here. This may take and let's dive in. So mutual veto and power sharing, veto power and legislation, the sex influence on accounting standards. This is not the relevant one, I think, for my paper, but the first two were. So the superiority of majority rule with veto power. So basically, in my paper, I was talking about the veto power of the um, permanent members of the Security Council of the United Nations. So and it found the articles related to the veto power mostly. You can uh, copy paste and other paragraphs and you can, as I said, you can type in like a simple request. Let's test it with another keyword, the impact of climate change on global human mobility. And yeah, let's click on find sources. It takes some time. It's ready. And mm, that's interesting. Biodiversity distribution under climate change. So it is related with climate change, impacts on ecosystems and human well-being. That could be interesting to read microbiomes biomes or and climate change i don't think that's the relevant one mapping the effectiveness of nature-based solutions for climate change adaptation that could be relevant so the economics of the climate change in order to understand what climate change is and how the economics of it works it could be nice source so basically you can see on each paper you, you will have this on, on some papers you will have two that two buttons and on some uh, three buttons here if the pdf is available you can click on this download pdf and it will open directly the pdf of of this article so that's basically sourcely let's check how the pricing schemes are and if you want to go monthly it's nine dollar and annually that this price but yeah it's very similar to the prices of other tools available with the pro version you can do more stuff here you can do quick and easy source finding you can ease of pasting your entire essay as i said with the pro version only up to 300 characters it's here but with the pre version, there is no limit. And you can also download PDF of the sources, which is a handy feature as well. And if you want to go with the monthly, I will have a discount code with Vugar20. You can get 20% discount 
and with Vugar 40 you can get 40 dis uh, 40 percent discount for the annual plan please also do check them if you want to sign up for the sourcely and that's basically sourcely uh, if you if you like this video please hit the like button if you want to see more videos from my channel please subscribe to my channel